Again, congratulations to all of the winners of the 2016 Eat Out yes. Awards. And uh, yes, absolutely. And uh, a public service announcement on behalf of the Espresso team and especially Miss Zola Nene, oh, Kat, we would like this. to invite <laughs> Chef Gregory Zarnecki yes. to come onto our show yes. and cook and really make Zola's day. She has been praying for this. <laughs> Apparently, she even burnt Impepo <laughs> and prayed to Amadrozi. <laughs> Asking for the blessing of Gregory Zonek. Really? I think he's very nice. Please come on. Guys, I think he's actually, I actually think he's married. Is he not married? Guys, what are Ma you doing? Makosi, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get into your culinary questions very quarantine. quickly. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a caller on the line. Yeah. Yes, 083-913-378. Good morning, Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. Hello. Morning. morning. Oh, great to hear your voice. Yvonne, what is your question? Mark, uh, I made a Christmas cake with a kilo of fruit mix, and when I made it, it was just crumbly. It wasn't dough. Mm. Oh. And I baked it, and as it came out of the oven, it just crumbled. Oh. What oh, can I do with that crumble? Plus, it's only a few weeks I don't before want Christmas, to waste eh? the ingredients. No, don't so, waste them, because making so Christmas expensive. cake is very, very expensive. Yeah. All that fruit, absolutely yeah. don't waste it. Yeah. Um, and now what do you have? Yeah, I mind? think mix it with ice cream, all the crumbs, mix it with like vanilla ice cream and put it back and freeze it again in a bowl like a bomb mm -hmm. and serve mm -hmm. it like that in slices perhaps with chocolate sauce or caramel oh. sauce or brandy sauce yeah. for, for, for dessert. Yeah. So like Delicious. an ice cream cake. An yeah. ice cream cake or yeah. you yeah. could make it into, take the crumbs and make them into truffles. Yeah. So you can make mini, ice, uh, mini Christmas puddings. Yeah. Um, so just melt some dark chocolate and mix it in with your crumbs just until it adheres together. Yes. Then roll them into truffles, pop them into the fridge. Then you can take some white chocolate, drizzle it on top, put a little cherry on top, and you've got little ice cream That's cakes. That's cute, yeah. Ooh. So it never has to go to waste. Please don't waste your cake. And I'm so sorry that it, it turned out crumbly, but please don't give up. Next year, Christmas, try again. What, what, what to do to not make it go crumbly? Um, you just needed a little bit more liquid. Okay. Yeah, I assume you made a, bo a boiled um, cake and you probably reduced it a little bit too much, so there wasn't enough liquid to sort of bind the dry ingredients. Um, yeah, but it's yeah. all trial and error. You never know with these things. All right. Thank you so much for that question, and I hope that that did certainly help. Let's quickly go to Kim Prince's question on Facebook. We've got 30 seconds for this one. Uh, mm -hmm. Asking about making butter chicken and having too much sauce. Oh. Uh, she doesn't like to so much sauce. No, what I, do you do? It is a problem. Butter chicken is really saucy. So what you do is cook your butter chicken. If you find you have too much sauce, take a slotted spoon, take the chicken out, yes? yes. And then reduce the sauce. Oh, and then you can put right. the chicken back, and then you have the perfect amount of sauce and chicken. So the, the chicken perfect. is never overcooked. It's the nice and tender. The chicken is never overcooked, but you, your sauce is nice and thick. And it looks like that. And it looks like that. Fantastic. Sound. Well, listen, we're going to keep those lines <laughs> open. 083-913-3728. It's the culinary hotline. Bling. Sing, sing, sing. In fact, Gregory Zonecki, give us a call. Yes, it's the Marcosi, 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 Gregory. <laughs>